G'day folks, welcome to the channel. It is a new year. I have a new look, maybe it's an old look, and I have a new product for you. So today we are looking at the latest from FOD Sports. It is their FX8 Pro intercom device. About six months ago I did a review of their M1S Plus intercom. I'm not going to repeat all of the things because essentially an intercom is an intercom. It connects to your phone, you take phone calls, you can play music and you can talk to other people on it. And it has a radio built in. They're the core things. They're all the same. Every intercom's the same. So I'm going to focus on the differences between the FX8 Pro and the M1S Plus because there are a couple. There's a couple of cosmetic ones but there is one major functionality change. The cosmetic differences, the M1S Plus is all buttons and the FX8 Pro has a dial. Now the dial does suit some people because they prefer to use the dial, it's easier with gloves uh, to, to do the controls. I prefer the buttons, so I can find them fine with lightweight gloves, it's a matter of personal preference. The other difference is the new unit has two ports, it has a dedicated port for the speaker and mic and a USB-C for the charging whereas the M1S Plus was all on the one port. And that's pretty much it as far as the minor changes go. Now in terms of the major functionality change though, the FX8 Pro now features a background sound function. Now what that means is you can play your music and still use the intercom at the same time. Now I'll just play a little demo clip here and I'll show you how that works in practice. I have two intercoms, I have the FX8 Pro and the M1S Plus, they are linked as, in, as intercoms. I will play some music through this phone which will come through this speaker. It'll get recorded onto this and then I'll take this one outside, press the button to connect the two intercoms and you will hear what happens. Alrighty, I will switch the audio now to the recorded version at the intercom. Music should have dropped in volume. You should be able to hear my voice now through the intercom fine. When I press the button again here, the music will come. Music volume will go up again. Pretty cool. I think so. You can be listening to music. Someone else presses their intercom button to talk to you. The music will dim slightly and then the intercom goes over the top. And once you finish talking on the intercom, you can turn off the intercom or they can turn off the intercom and the music volume will come back up again. Now how do they do this is that they have two Bluetooth circuits in this device now. Previous units, the M1S Plus and virtually every other intercom out there, has one Bluetooth circuit in there which handles all the connections to your phone and everything. It can't do too many things at once. They've put two circuits in here. One is dedicated to the phone and for music playback. The second one is dedicated to the intercom function. Just being able to have the music keep playing instead of cutting out all the time, it's, it's quite a nice feature. Also works with the FM radio as well. The other difference that I found between these two units was the volume of the unit. Now this is, this is going to come down to how you particularly use it. For me personally, I wear earplugs when I ride. I find without earplugs the wind noise is just too much. With earplugs I can still hear my intercom fine and music's fine and it just makes it a much more pleasant ride for me. Now what I found was with the M1S Plus when I reviewed this I, I remember saying this is quite a loud set of speakers in this. The Chamber of Commerce and Industry the and the University of Federation have also welcomed the changes. That's pretty it loud. Victoria records six... Probably louder than my centre unit. I can hear it all really clearly with my earplugs in. With the FX8 Pro that wasn't the case. I really struggled to hear the intercom and hear music playing even like with this on full and the the phone turned up full volume, I just couldn't hear it uh, with my earplugs in. That's, that's riding at highway speeds, I mean. Like at, at lower speeds, at under 60 kilometres an hour, it's fine. But as soon as you hit, get to 80 or 100 kilometres an hour, there's more wind noise, there's more road noise. I just couldn't hear it. So for me personally, I would prefer the M1S Plus because it has louder speakers. Earplugs out, no problem with this heard everything, it was all, all good, but that's not how I ride. 
Now last time I reviewed the FOD Sports M1S Pro Intercom, which you can see up here, link up there. Uh, I gave away one of those units, that was to celebrate 5,000 subscribers to the channel. Well, this time I'm doing the same, I'm giving away not one, but two, a twin pack this time of the FOD Sports FX8 Pro unit. So if you would like to win the FX8 Pro unit, all you have to do is leave a comment below in this video about something you would like to see on this channel this year. I'm just going to go through the comments, I'll pick out the best one, and I will be in contact with the winner. If you can't wait for the competition to end, and you just want to get your own FX8 Pro, or M1S Pro, or any other FOD Sport product, jump on their website, fodsports.com, put in the discount code KEITH, and you will get 12% off. I hope you've got something out of this. May 2023 be a great year for riding. Let's get out there and do some tracks. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Latest intercom from FOD Sports, the F FX8. All right, let's scratch all that, start again. And I have a product for you, a new product for you to review. Just get that right.